Okay you guys, I told you yesterday that this was gonna be a very small grocery haul and I was right. Hey guys, I know it's not Saturday, it is Sunday, but I needed to finish out my Dollar Tree mini series. If you guys missed that, and are interested in seeing everything that I did with Dollar Tree products this past week, I will leave a link to the playlist up above and down below. I collab with a different channel every single day, so if you guys are looking for more channels to branch out and start watching, definitely check out that playlist. So I have my normal weekly fill-in grocery haul for my family of six for you guys today, along with the meal plan. And I went to HEB and only spent $44.28, I believe it was. Yeah, it was just under $45. So I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up for that amount and then the meal plan for this week. Okay, so here is my $44 and change worth of items. So I did get two gallons of milk this week. My daughter actually gets back late tonight. So I knew she was gonna be wanting some milk this week. So I got two gallons. I got our typical one gallon of orange juice and this is our favorite kind. Actually, we prefer Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's is further away. So when at HEB and Walmart, this is the kind that we get, the Simply Orange Calcium and Vitamin D Pulp Free. I did pick up some almond milk for this week because we're gonna be making a few smoothies. So normally, whenever we're out of tub butter, I only pick up one at a time, but these are $3 and change a piece, and they had a coupon for buy two for $5. So I saved, I think it was like $7.28, so I saved you know, a little over $2 by going ahead and picking up two of them. So this is gonna last us for a while because we don't really use that much tub butter. We use a lot of stick butter for like baking and stuff. So I am set on our Kerrygold tub butter for a while. I got one package of frozen broccoli and normally I buy this in bulk and I am going to Costco but I wasn't sure if I was going to need this before I go to Costco or not so I went ahead and picked up a small bag so I got that. I got one cucumber, some curly parsley, a package of strawberries and I had baby carrots on my list which is what I normally pick up but I thought this would be a fun little change for the kids and these are just carrot chips so they're cut with like a crinkle cutter so I thought that would be fun. I got a huge bag of mandarins. My kids love these and we just ate our last orange. I got a bunch of six bananas, one for each of us, one day for breakfast. And since my son was with me at the store, these are his absolute favorite tortillas, the fresh tortillas that you can get in the bakery section at HEB. And they always have samples out, so of course he had a little like a little pizza slice of one. And then I went ahead and just picked up the smallest bag I could find because we don't necessarily need tortillas right now. But he was with me and he's like, Mom, don't forget their tortillas. So I got a 10 count. And then I have some multiple packages of Jello here. I actually have something fun planned with the kids and we're gonna share that on my vlog channel. So if you guys, guys did not know that I have a vlog channel, I'll actually leave up in the iCards the vlog where I showed me going through my kitchen and kind of creating my meal plan. Um, but this is gonna come, or this video is gonna be up closer to Easter. And I just got two of the island pineapple, two watermelon, one orange, and one berry blue, and then I already have a cherry. So we're gonna be doing something very fun with this jello on the vlog channel. So again, that's my groceries from HEB for right over $44. Now let's go into the meal plan. Okay you guys, so I am just using a piece of paper this time. I'm gonna transfer it to my meal plan book later on. I just, I was in a rush this time. So for breakfast, again, I don't know if you guys missed last week, but I am switching to only planning five meals a week because I feel like we've been wasting a lot of food and not really eating all of the leftovers and tossing it out. So I'm only, I'm only planning for five and then the other two meals will be leftovers or eat out or just make what I can with what I have on hand because I always have tons of stuff. So for breakfast, we're gonna have cereal with a banana. We're gonna have pancakes and strawberries, oatmeal and yogurt. And this is actually, I'm going to be making oatmeal in my Instant Pot for the first time. So I'm gonna share that recipe with you guys in April. Then we have eggs, bacon and watermelon. And then we're gonna have some smoothies. 
lunches this week and this is for the kids my husband and I are going to either eat stuff that we have on hand we have a lot of like homemade adult lunchable stuff plus we'll be eating on leftovers so this is for the kids mac and cheese with meatballs a cucumber strawberry and a snack we have tons of snack food so they get to pick one little snack with their lunch each day hot dogs tater tots cucumber and watermelon and again a snack peanut butter and jelly sandwich carrots and ranch an apple snack chicken nuggets, carrots and ranch, fruit. So I wrote fruit the last two days because it just depends on what we have left over. So I originally didn't have oranges on my list, so that will probably become an orange. And then a snack, and then this is like a homemade Lunchable. So pepperoni, crackers, string cheese, fruit, which this will probably be an orange, veggie, and this will just be whatever we have left over. The veggies that we have for this week are cucumbers and carrots. So whatever we have left over, and then a snack. Our dinners, we're gonna have Southwestern chicken and then that bag of frozen broccoli, fried rice, and I'm actually gonna be picking up some wontons at Costco, so we're gonna have wontons with our fried rice. Baked chicken, stuffing, and corn on the cob. I'm gonna be trying a Salisbury steak recipe in the Instant Pot with mashed potatoes and corn on the cob. We have a ton of frozen corn on the cob, that's why I have this on the menu twice. And then tortilla soup with corn and cheddar biscuits. This is gonna be another recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in the future. So that is our meal plan and the groceries for this week. Okay guys, so there you have it for this week's small grocery haul. If you guys watch the vlog where I prepped for this meal plan and grocery list, you're gonna see that I have a ton of stuff on hand. So I really need to get back to going through my pantry. I didn't do that last week because it was spring break and I wanted the kids to pick the meals. So I bought a lot for last week and now I'm going back to shopping my kitchen, my pantry, my freezers first. So I didn't have to spend a whole lot on groceries, which is awesome. So that was my grocery haul and my meal plan. If you guys like these kinds of videos, give it a big thumbs up. I have a little bit of a change coming I think in April, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I upload, which is also going to be changing a little bit. I have a couple changes. I hope you guys aren't scared, but I'm excited for them. So with that, I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. Bye guys.